Hello, I'm Sochil Mora. Welcome to your McAllen Minutes. If you missed the McAllen City Commission meeting of December 9th, don't worry. Here's a brief recap of what was discussed. McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobos called the McAllen City Commission meeting to order, and after the Pledge of Allegiance, District 5 Commissioner Victor Sebi Haddad gave the invocation, which included a special message in memory of District 2 Commissioner Joaquin J.J. Samora's mother, who recently passed away. The meeting began with a proclamation read by District 2 Commissioner Samora in honor of Tuba Christmas. Tuba Christmas concerts have become an annual holiday tradition in cities throughout the world. Tuba Christmas gratefully honors all composers who have embraced these noble instruments with their compositions through American composer Alec Wilder, who died on Christmas Eve in 1980, and who contributed his arrangements of traditional Christmas carols to Tuba Christmas. Mayor Villalobos and the McAllen City Commission would like to thank Tuba Christmas coordinator Dr. Scott Reuter and members of the 2024 Rio Grande Valley Tuba Christmas Ensemble for bringing this wonderful annual holiday tradition to our great city and for sharing the Christmas spirit at the City Commission meeting each year. After the proclamation, the audience was treated to a mini tuba Christmas concert by a few members of the UTRGV Tuba and Euphonium Choir. Merry Christmas! Next, District 5 Commissioner Haddad was joined by McAllen Police Chief Victor Rodriguez, members of the McAllen Police Department Community Relations Unit, including McGruff, and a few sponsors of the upcoming Christmas for Kids event. The McAllen Police Department will host the 23rd Annual Christmas for Kids Toy Giveaway on Saturday, December 21st, 2024, at the McAllen Public Safety Building and Municipal Park on Bicentennial Boulevard and Quint Street. The event will be kicked off by the Parade of Characters starting at Las Palmas Community Center at 8 a.m. Through the coordinating efforts of McAllen Police Department personnel, the continuing support of Doctors Hospital at Renaissance, HEB, Jimenez Logistics, and other community partners that make Christmas for Kids possible with their kind donations, McAllen area children will have a Merry Christmas this year. Soccer balls, dolls, skateboards, and action figures are among the many toys that will be given to the children, along with fresh fruit, hot dogs, and candy. With everyone's support and effort, Christmas for Kids will continue to successfully distribute more than 5,000 toys to McAllen area children. Under public hearing, commissioners unanimously approved adopting the ordinance for the new Unified Development Code and repealing all conflicting ordinances. The UDC will help streamline the development process in McAllen. Under the consent agenda, commissioners approved a resolution in support of the 2024 Title VI plan for the McAllen International Airport, which complies with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This plan provides the framework and guides the airport to ensure non-discrimination in all of its program, activities, services, and facilities. Commissioners approved the City of McAllen's Water Conservation and Drought Contingency Plan, which outlines strategies to enhance water use efficiency and prepare for water shortages. The Texas Water Development Board requires all retail public water suppliers to update and readopt their plan every five years to remain eligible for financial assistance. The plan was last adopted in 2023. However, after a review by TWDB, updates and additional information were incorporated into the 2024 plan. Commissioners approved tax refunds over $500 to various McAllen taxpayers. Commissioners approved the following co-op purchases. An award of contract to What's Equip of Del Rio, Texas in the amount of $142,671 utilizing Omnia Partners Cooperative Pricing for the purchase of residential recycling and trash bins for the Public Works Department. An award of contract to Doggett Freightliner of South Texas LLC of FAR, Texas in the amount of $407,662 utilizing Byboard Cooperative Pricing for the purchase of two new current model roll-off refuse trucks for the Public Works Department. An award of contract to Box Gang Manufacturing from Houston, Texas in the amount of $149,680 utilizing Byboard Cooperative Pricing for the purchase of commercial dumpsters for the Public Works Department. Under bids and contracts, commissioners authorized an award of contract to Diverse Construction of Brownsville, Texas in the amount of $555,749.80 for the Balboa Ditch Sluice Gates Improvement Project to replace sluice gates, repair concrete headwall structure, and replace reinforced concrete riprap to prevent flooding at Balboa Acres. The project has a calendar timeline not to exceed 250 calendar days. 
Commissioners authorized negotiating with the top-ranked consultant firm Short Elliott Hendrickson for terminal expansion design services at the McAllen International Airport. The scope of work includes terminal renovation and expansion, baggage system and ticket counter design, concession planning and passenger loading bridge requirements, among other services. Under ordinances, commissioners approved a fiscal year 2024-2025 budget amendment in the amount of $5,302,222 for airport improvement projects. The budget amendment is necessary to implement approved projects brought forth through the terminal capacity study during the end of FY 2023-2024. Also included is another new project which is currently a mandated study for FAA compliance. We hope you enjoyed this recap of your McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network Spectrum 1300 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For the City of McAllen, I'm Sochi Mora.